I was talking to a couple of friends that have been struggling with being depressed and having lack of motivation and being able to accomplish their goals because they just don't feel like it. They're not in the mood, they're not inspired. Frankly, some days you just don't want to get out of bed. One of them was struggling with being a giver and giving and giving and giving and not getting anything back in return. Those people not coming back to pay back the favors that he's done for them. Anyway, whatever reason you're depressed um, and unmotivated, I was sharing with them how you can still make step towards your goals no matter how you're feeling. And this was a big breakthrough for me because in the past I have struggled with depression and I had days where I couldn't do anything. I didn't feel like doing anything. And a lot of people I meet, it seems like they're of the mindset that you have to be in the mood to do something, that you can't do something unless you're inspired or motivated to do so. But my biggest breakthrough in accomplishing the things I want to accomplish in life came about because I learned the technique of disregarding my feelings. Not that feelings don't have a place or aren't important, and I'm not talking about feelings like your gut feeling or your intuition, but if I wake up one day and I'm too tired or I'm feeling sad or I don't feel like doing what I'm committed to, I make myself do it anyway. I take whatever steps I can muster up, even if it's the simplest tiny thing on my to-do list. And I do that thing because in doing that thing, that motivates me to do the next thing and the next thing. Waiting for inspiration and motivation often doesn't happen. And if you're waiting for that to strike before you move, most likely you're never going to move. But if instead, no matter how you're feeling, you move and you take steps towards those goals, the inspiration comes, the motivation comes, the happiness comes. You're able to shake off the funk, shake off the depression and whatever was holding you back from what you're committed to. So just try it. No matter how you're feeling one day, if you have something that you're committed to, make a decision ahead of time that no matter how you're feeling that day, that you're going to choose your commitment to your goals over how you're feeling. Because your feelings can change, like the wind can whip you to and fro in all different directions. Your feelings are subject to change. Yes, we all can decide if we want to be happy, we want to be sad, we want to be mad in whatever situation. But it can change so quickly, we could be in the most depressed state there is and then get a phone call with great news and the next thing we know, we're dancing on the ceilings, tap dancing on the walls. It can change like that. So don't let feelings be the determining factor of whether you take steps towards your goal each day or not. Let your commitment to what you want out of life be the catalyst that keeps you going and watch what happens no matter how you're feeling or how depressed you might be. Watch what happens when you take a step in the right direction in the step towards your goals. Suddenly, the possibilities become endless. Everything changes. Your motivation comes. Your inspiration comes. Your feelings change. And you're in control of that. Take a step towards it and see what happens.